Hey everyone, today I'm going to be seeing how hard it actually is to break a diamond. So I have here two real diamonds. These were sent to me by a company that makes conflict-free diamonds called Pure at Birth. So you've always heard that diamonds are forever, but I noticed when I got my wife's ring, they give you a warranty that if your diamond ever chips, you can get it replaced. So the question is, if diamonds are the hardest material in the world, how could they ever chip? What would they chip against? Well, I've always wondered if you could just take a hammer and smash a diamond. So first, I have two diamonds here, and these are real diamonds. I'm gonna take one of the diamonds and just smash it with a hammer and see if it actually breaks. Let's see how hard I have to hit it to break it. Okay, so I just have it laying on its side now. Okay, first let's just start off with a little hit and see if it breaks. Nope. Let's hit it again. Not breaking. It is denting into my steel though. Let's hit it again. <laughs> nope. Just dented that divot into my steel. <laughs> nope. Huh. Can see what it's doing to the end of my hammer here too. So now the tip is up. Let me give it a good hit and see if it breaks now. Look at that. <laughs> Completely broken into pieces now. It did make a divot in my hammer right there though, but when the tip was up, it easily broke the diamond. You can see these pieces of diamond here. Okay, so if diamond is the hardest material on earth, how was I able to just smash it with a hammer like that? Well, it has to do with the definition of hardness. So to say that something is hard, it means that it locally resists plastic deformation. So basically on a small scale, if you push on it hard enough, does it bend or not bend? And diamond doesn't bend at all. So compared to other materials, diamond is the hardest because if you rub it against something else, the other thing will always bend and deform rather than the diamond. So the diamond is considered harder, which means that it can scratch every other thing on earth. But hardness doesn't actually mean that it's strong. And you can see the reason for this based on the test that I just did. Remember when I had the diamond on its side, I couldn't break it with the hammer. But when I turned it right side up with the point upwards and I hit it with the hammer, it easily broke. Whereas if I were to do that same test with a piece of metal, I wouldn't be able to shatter the metal. That's because if I were to hit a piece of metal with a sharp point like that, the metal would just deform and it would spread out the impact area. So basically it would reduce the pressure that I'm putting on it. But because it's a diamond and can't plastically deform, all of the impact goes to that tiny little area right where I hit it. And so basically it exceeds the strength of the diamond in that tiny little area and it generates a crack that propagates through the diamond. This is the same thing with glass. We usually think of glass as something that's fragile, but really glass is extremely strong. It has a very high tensile strength and it's hard to crush as well. But because of that, it's very brittle. So if you drop something, it doesn't locally plastically deform. It just all of that energy goes into breaking the bonds of the glass. Whereas if you drop a piece of metal, it just locally deforms right where you hit it. And we call these dents. So glass and diamond can't dent and that causes it to be brittle. So diamond is the hardest material on the world, but it's not very tough. Meaning that it can't absorb a lot of energy before it fractures. You can even break your diamonds just by dropping them on the ground. If they hit just right on that tip, then they can easily break. So you know that you can shatter a diamond with hitting it with a hammer, but what about just squeezing it in between pliers? Let's see if I can shatter the other diamond that way. Okay, let's see if we can just crush this now. Okay, I'm just squeezing it now. <sighs> Not breaking. Okay, I couldn't shatter it with just these needle nose pliers here. Let's get a little bit bigger pair and see if I can do it. Okay, now I stuck the diamond in some silly putty on here so it would stay put. Now let's see if I can crush it. Oh, I think I broke it. Nope, it just slipped out. 
Okay, I can't break it with the pliers. Let's try something else now. What if I just crush it in between two pieces of sandstone? Okay, let's try this. Three, two, one. Okay, that's pretty cool. It just went straight into this rock here. Okay, so it looks like I could only break the diamond with the hardened steel tip of the hammer. Other things like using pliers or other stones, I couldn't get it to break the diamond. For the pliers, I'm guessing I could get enough force to break it if I had big enough pliers. But this is the biggest pair I had at my house right now and I couldn't break it with this. It just slipped out of the tip of it. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Action Lab. Remember to leave me any comments or questions that you have in the comments section. And if you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and you can hit the bell so that you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And check out theactionlab.com to see the new Action Lab subscription box, which is the vacuum chamber box. And the second one is the self-pouring fluid box. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.